European uh, MEPs representing the North West uh, because of changes throughout the European Union. So all in all, uh, UKIP, I think, will be sort of fairly happy with that. Uh, the big news here tonight, there's no doubting it at all. Even before Nick Griffin was elected as MEP, uh, he, of course, the leader of the British National Party, the big news was that uh, they had made their first breakthrough over the Pennines in Yorkshire and Humber. And uh, Nick Griffin was saying earlier uh, this evening that in places like Barnsley and Sheffield, uh, very much traditional uh, Labour strongholds in the past at least, that uh, the votes for the BMP in places like that have been uh, significant in Barnsley, for example. He said that the uh, percentage vote for the British National Party was 16.7%, and in Sheffield, 12%. Now, these are areas in South Yorkshire that are not normally associated with the British National Party. They do have pockets of support throughout the north of England, uh, certainly some in, in West Yorkshire, and and um, here in, in Lancashire in, in particular, uh, various footholds around the north of England, as I say, but South Yorkshire hasn't previously been regarded as a place that has uh, supported the British National Party to any degree, so that will surprise uh, some people there. Yeah, Nick, we're expecting, well, hoping that Nick Griffin is going to take the stage uh, very shortly. I mean, all this aside, UKIP's success, BNP success, and while the Tories uh, romping home, really, uh, it doesn't take the focus, as you've mentioned already, that Gordon Brown has a fairly major meeting uh, tonight with the Parliamentary Labour Party. No, and I think that the uh, expenses scandal has obviously played a part as far as all the major parties are concerned. But... Uh, <laughs> the other parties walking away from the platform. Let's listen to Nick Griffin. In a democratic election. It's as shameful as the lies told by the Labour member who was here, which match their weapons of mass destruction lies with which they took our boys and girls into wars we shouldn't be in and they're still coming home in pieces. That's the real shame. It's the Labour Party's shame, not ours. I'd like to thank my incredibly hard-working team, particularly Clive Jefferson, the mainstay of the North West, and everyone who's helped out so much. It's been a fantastic, brilliant effort. I thank the returning officer and the staff in the places where this election was run properly and not in the places where we weren't allowed to seal ballot boxes, as is our right, where ballot boxes of broken seals were just nodded through as if nothing was wrong. There is a deep, dark stain on the way the democratic system is run in this country at present, and it's always done only in a way that does down the British National Party. However much you dislike our party in some people's cases, you cannot possibly stand by the perversion of the democratic process as a way of trying to keep us out. Fortunately, it's a way that's failed. For the last 50 years, more and more of the people of Britain have watched with concern and growing dismay, and sometimes anger, as an out-of-touch political elite has transformed our country before our very eyes. It's not just a matter of mass immigration, although that's the most obvious symptom of it. It's handing us over to rule by unelected bureaucrats in Brussels. It's turning the Commonwealth of this country, our public services, into private profit centres for giant corporations. It's banning St George's Day festivals while encouraging everyone else to celebrate their festivals, usually with taxpayers' money. In so many ways, the liberal elite have transformed this country, and as they've done so, they've forced people to be quiet about it, with laws which make telling the truth an offence, a prisonable offence. The anger of the British people has been held behind dams, walls of lies, growing ever taller and ever thicker for the last 50 years. But tonight, in the northwest of England and in Yorkshire, the British National Party and hundreds of thousands of voters who saw past the lies of the Sun about the Gurkhas, who saw past the lies of the Express and rags like the Manchester Evening News, hundreds of thousands of voters have given their verdict on the dam of lies of the old party. And tonight, the British National Party has breached those dams of lies. The waters of truth and justice and freedom are once again flowing over this country. It's a great victory. 
We go on from here. Just listening there to the BM. For those who might ask, well, what will be the first thing I will do in Europe? What am I going to talk about? What do I want to talk about on the TV stations tomorrow night? I do not want to talk about mass immigration. Everybody knows the British people have had enough of it. Everyone knows where we stand. Everyone who's listened to me on the television knows we want to shut the doors, remove the illegals and the bogus asylum seekers, and everybody else who contributes to our society, who pays into our society, whether they're born here or if they come more recently, if they're here legally and they're contributing, we have no problem with them at all. There's nothing more to say. I want to talk about what I'm going to do when I get to Brussels, and the first thing is to put my researchers into the libraries there. Because the real scandal of fraud by the old politicians, Tory, Lib Dem and Labour alike, isn't the expenses. It's not a bath plug here or a porn film there. It's what they've done turning our public services into private profit centres. This looting of the British national commonwealth involves billions and billions and billions of pounds stolen from the British public. And at every turn, a Labour MP, a Lib Dem MP or a Tory MP has got backhanders for doing so or has been put onto the directorships of those companies once they step down from Parliament. That's the real scandal. We're going to get in there into the records of the European Union. We are going to unearth it. We're going to get those facts to the police. And some of these people are going to go to prison where they belong. Thank you very much. Good night. Just listening there to Nick Griffin, the leader of the BNP, who has won a seat in the European Parliament in Manchester, joining his colleague Andrew Bronze, who won earlier on in Yorkshire and Humber region. Sky's Mike McCarthy is in Manchester for us. He's seen those results coming in. Mike, uh, let's get your summing up following a dramatic few hours. Well, you saw some extraordinary scenes there as uh, all of the candidates from the other parties walked out of this room as one uh, the minute that uh, Nick Griffin started to make his victory speech. And it's been a night here in the northwest of extraordinary scenes. Uh, the leader of the British National Party and now an MEP arrived at uh, Manchester Town Hall uh, amid scenes of violence and barracking as uh, anti-fascist campaigners pelted his car with eggs. It prevented uh, Mr. Griffin from entering the town hall. It was uh, a full hour later when, escorted by police, he was able to get into the building. So the situation here now is that the um, banquet room at the town hall is beginning to empty. Certainly the only people around at the moment are members of the media and supporters of the British National Party along with uh, Greater Manchester police officers who will no doubt be wanting to make sure that when Nick Griffin leaves uh, the town hall he will not face the kind of scenes that he faced when he arrived here. It's been looking throughout the night in Manchester very close indeed for the British National Party. Certainly the expectations seemed to turn uh, for uh, much of the evening against them and it was only late on uh, when the first inkling came through that uh, the British National Party was sending not one MEP to Brussels but two. Nick Griffin now joins his colleague in Yorkshire and Humber and as you heard him say there uh, his task will be to root out what he described as members of the out-of-touch political elite. He said that the British National Party has breached the, door, the dam of lies and the waters of freedom have flown through this country. He said that he would also sort out uh, in Brussels what he described as the looting uh, by 